My last video with regard to this tent, the Six Moons Lunar Solo. I keep getting asked the same questions, so I thought I'd do a quick follow-up and go through the three questions which I seem to get asked quite a lot. Okay, let's just put up this tent. And there you go, there's the tent set up. Right, and now for the questions that I keep getting asked about this tent. The first one is condensation. It's a single wall tent. It will suffer from condensation if it is completely sealed. Uh, the tent itself has mesh running down the back and sides, so it does give some ventilation. I always sleep with the door open. So much so that somebody on Facebook asked me if my tent actually has two doors. Um, only once have I had to close the doors, and that was for Storm Everett. And there was plenty of ventilation that night with the wind blowing. Um, what you can do... And I saw this trick on somebody else's YouTube, and it wasn't... I can't remember who it was, so please credit yourself. But what you can do is you can take this, you can move this up and you can slide the doors so they go up. Sorry, it's just come undone. So you could do that. So you have a much higher area there. But um, I've never found the need to do it, to be honest. I just keep one door open and I do not have a problem with condensation. If you do discover you have a problem with condensation in the morning, sleep with one of these beside you. You can wipe the tent down before you even get out of the sleeping bag. So it doesn't get on you, it gets on this. Hang it on the back of your rucksack while you're walking, it'll be dry in minutes. Problem sorted. The other problem I had with this tent, and a few other people seem to have had the same, is with rolling this door up. It, it was a bugbear for quite a while. I've now discovered that what you do is you roll from the bottom. You roll from the bottom, keep it nice and tight as you're rolling. And as you roll up, just keep it nice and tight. And if you do that, the door will stay shut, stay shut, stay open, and will not do that rolling down thing. That was a godsend to me when I discovered that. Right. The last question that I've been asked is with regard to the doors. Shut this up. My tan, as supplied from Six Moons Lunar Solo, came with these two loops. And when you attach them to the sliding mechanism, you can tighten up the tent so you get the, the door set. The trouble is, because they're connected to the zip, you then can't open the doors independently. You have to undo both in order to be able to get in. You can't undo one door at a time. I saw this on YouTube and I don't know who it was again. Terrible memory. But I've attached two new loops onto the door, one onto each door. And if you do that, and then you use those to attach the doors to the sliding mechanism, 
you get the same tension, there's no difference in the way that it works, but it does mean that now I can take one off and undo the zip. And that's how I undo one door at a time. And if I wanted to, I can attach that one if the wind's coming from the other direction. So you can open that door. And that's how you get to open the doors independently. It was impossible to open the doors independently with the way that this tent arrived from Six Moon Lunar Solar. I don't know if this was a mistake with my tent, but I've had a couple of people ask the question, so I don't know quite what's going on there. Right, well, I hope that's helped. Um, if you have any more questions, please put them down below. Although I'm not sure there's any more I can say about condensation. <laughs> um, great tent. Still love it. I've done about 600 miles in it this year. Would recommend it. Stay safe. Till next time.